In order for me to meet my income goals, I need to set four appointments per month, and this is how I'm gonna do it. My name is Bria Alexis, and I make videos about navigating your 20s and setting up your life for financial stability through the lens of a real estate agent and full-time college student. Okay, elephant in the room. I keep making videos. I got surgery on my wrist. Can't really move my wrist, but I can move all my fingers. So we're back in action. <laughs> okay, so first, when you're starting off with your lead GPS, you wanna backtrack a few steps. So um, those steps would be, what do you want your net income goal to be? Your annual income goal, which is what you're netting, you're taking home. Then you're gonna reverse engineer that to figure out how much uh, volume you need to do to produce that as your commission income. And then we are gonna figure out what action steps, um, what business you need to drum up in order to meet that volume, which will then produce that income, okay? Right? So once you do all that math and you're at the bottom of the line, it's gonna tell you how many appointments you need to have with buyers and how many appointments you need to have with sellers in order to meet your income goals. Your lead GPS is what you're gonna use in order to get you to that many appointments on the buyer and on the seller side. I love the lead GPS. It keeps me focused. It's something that I can revisit on a regular basis because as a new agent out there, sometimes it feels like you're just, you're just out here floating. I know, I understand. <laughs> We're doing this entrepreneur thing. Okay, and we're killing it. So if you want to meet your income goals, then you have to have a certain amount of appointments set. And in order to set those appointments, you need a certain amount of real estate conversations. And in order to have those real estate conversations, you need to set a certain amount of appointments, right? It's a numbers game and we're just trying to play that game. The best way to play that game is to have multiple sources where those leads, where those appointments conversations are coming from. My goals came out to four appointments per month two on the buyer side and two on the listing side. So my GPS is gonna ensure that I get four appointments per month. The way that you break it down is you're gonna have three different buckets of leads and five different ways for each of those buckets. So my three lead buckets are gonna be phone prospecting, that's my number one priority, social media, that's my number two priority, and open houses and buyer seminars, that's my number three priority. So these are my three lead buckets, right? So let's just start with the first lead bucket, phone prospecting. You're gonna open up an Excel spreadsheet or a notepad or however you like to organize your thoughts. You're gonna come up with five strategies for your number one priority. So my five strategies to get four appointments through phone prospecting are strategy number one, for sale by owner. We've all heard the Fizbo. Strategy number two, calling expired listings. Strategy number three is calling my sphere of influence. We've all heard this, call your sphere of influence. The reason why that's priority three and not one for me is because I am in college, so my sphere is not 100% ready to buy, but they do know people that might be ready to buy. They do know people that have just graduated and are looking to lease. So it is it's still an option for me. So they're priority number three. Priority number four are my inbound leads, which actually come from my priority number three, which is my open house list. And strategy number five is gonna be circle prospecting, which also connects to open houses. Okay, so that was all for lead bucket number one. Moving on. <laughs> lead bucket number two, social media. What five strategies am I gonna use to get four appointments th per month through social media? Strategy number one. Oh no, this is not that. <laughs> social media strategy number one is my Millionaire Real Estate Agent Book Club. It is my weekly series where I go chapter by chapter or section by section, because we know it's not really broken down into chapters, through the Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller and give you my thoughts, my take on it, and how I'm using those strategies to implement into my brand new real estate business. Number two is my walkthrough series that I'm gonna be starting for my open houses. Strategy number three are quick buyer Q&A series. Now this series I'm thinking more suitable for Instagram stories, IGTV, and maybe even Reels. Strategy number four is a tips for buyer series and I'm thinking these will be great for my highlights or even IGT video or static post of a video just explaining these things. All of these are gonna be video format pretty much. Some of them will be like sliding informational posts, but that's that. Five, a series on why you should live in Greensboro. I think this is gonna be a really fun series for me to create just because I'm actually from Delaware. So I've been living in North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina since 2019. All of the cities that I've ever lived in in Delaware combined 
felt like the size of Greensboro to me when I first got here. So lead bucket number three, which I was just working on this morning, so I'm super excited about, is open houses and buyer seminars. I think this is something that I'm going to excel at. I come from a background of leasing. If you haven't watched my I Quit My Full-Time Job video, I come from a background in leasing. I've been doing that for three years, multifamily industry, new home construction sales, all that fun jazz. So I talk to the public a lot, uh, show properties a lot. It was previously apartments and now it'll be homes. It's a completely different ball game, but that foundation I feel is gonna give me a leg up. That's a lot, huh? Priority three, five strategies for four appointments. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Strategy number one is, is attend, attend, attend the open house. Now I'm not cheating because my real estate coach gave me number one. So the number one way that I'm gonna produce appointments from open houses is by attending the open houses that I host. <laughs> Strategy number two is to door knock before your open house around the area, sort of circle prospecting at least 100 people. Strategy number three is a paid social campaign for the open houses that I'm hosting. And strategy number four kind of connects to social media where I would record, do an early access link to the open house where you can attend the open house virtually if you're not able to make it. And then because this section is open house and buyer seminars and a buyer seminar is like doing a buyer first time home buyer consultation with someone, but just in a setting in a room full of 10, 15 people. So that's why it's a seminar. I would record those seminars and use that as a webinar. That's another way to use those as a lead bucket. So when it's all said and done, you will have something that looks like this. I hope you guys can read it. I hope it makes sense to you. I hope you create one of your own. And if you do, let me know what your three lead buckets are. And of those lead buckets, let me hear one of your strategies for each. I wish you guys the best of luck and I can't wait to update you on how this is going. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please click up here to watch the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book club series as well as my other uh, YouTube videos and subscribe to my channel here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and good luck to all my new agents out there. Bye. See ya later.